hey you guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing this very cute pink look and if you're interested then keep watching i want to first start off with my primer i'm just using some elf camo concealer to prime my eyelids and i'm going to go straight into my james charles palette and i'm going to start with this magenta shade here blend out that first shade I'm gonna take a neon pink again and I'm going to use a Morphe E17 brush to lightly buff the edges For my last shade I'm gonna take an orange shade on a Morphe M535 and I'm gonna use that to blend towards my brow bone I'm going to take some makeup remover and some q-tips to go ahead and clean up my eyelid space so I can prep for my shadow. Y'all, I don't know what I thought I was singing, but I was sounding real bad. So, anyway, back to the makeup. I'm taking this Wet n Wild brush and some P. Louise Base in 0.5. And I'm just using that to carve out some space for the next shades that I'll be placing on my lid. Now that I've gotten my lid space carved out, I'm gonna go back in with that hot pink that I used to blend my second shade. And I'm gonna use a Sigma E55 brush to go ahead and place it on my eyelid. I started placing it in like a half moon type of shape. Um, I don't know, it, it was looking cute when I was putting it on and kind of went with the flow. But I'm gonna use that first shade to create a little bit of space with the pink. And then I'm gonna go in with a white eyeshadow from the James Charles palette again, I think it's called Flashback, and I'm gonna set that P. Louise base with that. Girl, the amount of kickback. Woof. This is just a flatter eyeshadow brush, a packing brush, so that way I can make that line between the pink and the white more crisp. So once I'm done with lashes and liner, I'm gonna try a new foundation routine. This is inspired by Taylor Mae Jane's video on how she gets her flawless finish. Um, and her foundation always looks great, so I'm just trying it. What I'm doing is taking a foundation brush and I'm gonna first apply that to all the spots that you would normally just apply like your general foundation. Then I went in with a stick foundation to apply the contour. Then my um, highlighter and I'm gonna use a very bright shade on the inner like corner of my eye. And I'm gonna take one brush and blend everything together. I really like this whole idea because I'm using one brush for all my colors and it makes everything very, very seamless. So I just start first by blending foundation, then the contour, and then lastly, I blend down my highlight shades.
Here I'm just setting all my highlighted areas with my translucent powder and then I'm going to go in with these green shades for my lower lash line. For my lips, I'm going to use my NYX Espresso Pencil and then I'm going to go in with a Fenty Beauty um, lipstick. I'm going to leave the shade name in the description box below. And then to top it all off, I went in with a liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild, the Cat Soup Editions. I think the shade is called Nudie Patootie. All right, you guys, this is the end of the video. I pray that everybody is still staying at home. Everybody is still remaining safe. I am praying for you all. I hope that you enjoyed this look. If you have any comments, um, don't forget to leave them down below. Like my video, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you have the bell notification turned on so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.